your local weather authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some quiet conditions out there for now. Wind speeds are fairly tame, though it is a little breezy outside. But Skies are clearing out. Temperatures are feeling fairly mild as well, thanks to a warm afternoon that we saw. And again, some clear conditions out there may make for some good stargazing if you want to head out there. Winds probably are going to be good enough to kick up a small layer of haze, but it is dry outside and it is warm, so at least it'll be comfortable viewing. Just watch out for those winds. And thanks to our sky tracker, great look at Midland. But switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see this low pressure system here with a very well defined center of rotation. Continue Continuing to get closer to us here in West Texas, that low is going to continue tracking off to the east and making its way towards us. And as it does so, it's really going to change up our weather patterns. Now keep this in mind, we've got a counterclockwise flow pattern to that low pressure. So as it gets closer to us, that's going to be the general path that the weather features take as they swing through West Texas. Right now, we're already seeing a little bit of cloud cover following that pattern moving off from west to east and pretty much dissipating, getting out of the way for the rest of this evening. Again. Not too bad out there for stargazing, and, and I do expect our skies to continue clearing up as we head into tomorrow morning, leading us to a sunny start to the day once that sun does show up. As we get to the early part of the afternoon, though, by about 12 noon, we'll start to see our winds really ramping up to 25 plus miles per hour and then continue to increase from there. So a very, very windy day. We've got some sunny skies out there that'll help us warm up to temperatures in the mid to upper 60s by 12 noon. And then as we head into the evening time, it looks like we only warm up one more degree, but that's actually because that low pressure will be pushing some cooler air our way and affecting our high temperatures timing. That means it's going to be coming through a little earlier in the day than we typically see, and by 5 p.m. will already be cooling down from that high in the mid-70s for tomorrow. As far as winds go, I get a little breezy out there. We'll stay about 15, 20 miles per hour through the overnight time here in Odessa Midland until we get to about 6 a.m. And then we'll really start to see our winds ramping up. And remember that counterclockwise rotation pattern. You can really see it as we swing through the next couple of hours and head into Thursday evening. Notice those wind speeds are really strong. Well, the National Weather Service took notice as well. That's why we've got a wind advisory outlined for almost the entirety of West Texas, as well as a high wind warning morning for the Guadalupe Pass and Marfa Plateau set to go into effect tomorrow morning and last until 8 p.m. Same time frame for this fire weather warning, but that's just going along with those dry conditions. So be careful driving around and be careful with sparks and flames, things like that to prevent the spread of brush fires. We'll pick up to 73 tomorrow, 62 on Friday, and then warm up to the 70s for the weekend, but wind speeds pick up as well. Carsey and Carson and Ozzy, it sure is going to be, I was trying to combine cars, Carsey, Carsey, that's, Carsey. that's a good one. That's a good so one. People have called me awesome. Carsey before. So, you know. yeah. Close, it flows now. Yeah, Chase, just for you, because you're cool. All right. <laughs> I, real quick, I was telling Chase that today was like a tease, because oh, it was yes. super, like, super hot, but warm, and then cold. It, it was. It was. It was all over the place. And Not too bad, though. Not too bad of a day, and it'll be a pretty mild day tomorrow. Just watch out for those winds. Right. Be careful. Thank you, Chase. Thanks.